Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about one of the most useful integration technique. Okay, and that is um, rationalizing substitution. So in this video, we will be dealing with irrational functions and we transform that function into a rational functions by using u substitution. Okay, so once we change that function into a u uh, into a function of u then we apply the some of the integration rules and or some of integration techniques now we have example here that is the integration of 1 over 1 plus square root of x dx now take that this is an irrational function since um, this function involves um, radical okay that is in square root of x so therefore we have to eliminate the square root um, sign in our function now in this case we can um, substitute square root of x replace or we can replace square root of x here by u so we could say that square root of x is equal to u or therefore we could say that x here is u squared correct now take note we have um, dx here that is the derivative of our x so therefore the derivative of x that is um, 2u du Okay, so we can rewrite our equation as the integration of our dx, that is 2u du over 1 plus u. Okay, this is in terms of fraction and we cannot um, integrate it directly since we have 2u in the numerator and we have uh, variable u in the denominator. So we need to expand this function. So how are we going to expand this function? Now this is um, in proper fraction okay now we can say that a function or a fraction is improper when we have the degree in the numerator is equal or greater than the degree in the denominator now in this case in the numerator we have first degree correct since our u is raised to the one and in the denominator we also have first degree so this is still first degree so therefore they have equal degree so therefore this is considered as improper fraction now um, in order to expand improper fraction we need to apply division or long division method or synthetic division but i would uh, prefer long division to this one we can divide 2u here by um, u plus 1 correct now in, divi in dividing we know that 2u divided by the first term that is u the remaining would be 2 correct so since 2u divided by u can cancel out u the remaining would be 2 then multiply 2 in the first term we have um 2u multiply u in the second term we have um, plus 2 now take note we need to change the sign okay so therefore we can say that 2u minus 2u 2u minus 2u is equal to 0 and here it is negative 2 so therefore we have remainder that is in negative 2 okay so therefore we can say that we have um, the expansion of 2u du that is the integration of that is we have 2 here correct 2 then since we have the remainder negative 2 so we have minus 2 divided by our our device or our divisor is u plus 1 so this is the expansion of 2u over 1 plus u then we have du here so therefore we can integrate them separately we could say that is the um, the integration of 2 du minus the integration of 2 over u plus 1 du and the integration of 2 du is 2 u we can um, take 2 outside of our integration okay the remaining would be 1 in the numerator so we have 2 and this rule here resembles with um, du over u correct that's the rule the integration of du over u that is the natural logarithm of u plus c correct so therefore this is the natural logarithm of u plus 1 plus c now we take back our function of x into this um, answer so we have 2 now our u here that is square root of x correct minus 2 the natural logarithm of and that is square root of x plus 1 okay plus c so this is your final answer or the integration of 1 over 1 plus square root of x dx 
Now, I have a second example here that is um, the integration of 1 over cube root of x plus square root of x dx. Now, our goal here, again, is to eliminate the variable x and replace it by variable u. Okay? However, take note, we have um, 2x here, which is in the 2 different radicand. Okay? Now, we have cube root of x and we have square root of x. Now, we can say that our let x here could be um, u6. So, therefore, if we have square root of x, we could have u raised to the 3, correct? And we have cube root of x, that is, we have um, u squared. Since if you, since we know that our x here is u6, so if we um, substitute x here by u6, the remaining would be u cubed, correct? And the second one, if we um, placed our u raised to the 6 inside the cube root sign, then we could have u raised to the 2. Okay, so um, that's the best, or this is the best replacement of our variable x, that is u raised to the 6th. So we have here, that is 1 over, now cube root of x, that is u squared, square root of x here, that is u cube. Now our dx, that is the derivative of our x. So the derivative of u raised to the 6, that is 6u raised to the fifth du, correct? So therefore, we multiply in the numerator, that is um, 6u raised to the 5 du. Then we have 6u raised to the 5 du. Okay, so this would be our function of u. However, we can cancel out u here. We can factor out u squared in the denominator so that we can simplify it further. Then we have 6u to the fifth du over u squared times 1 plus u. Okay, now we can cancel out here u squared. Okay, and the remaining in the numerator is u raised to the 3, correct? So therefore, we could um, simplify it by um, 6u cubed du over 1 plus u. Okay. So this is an improper fraction since, again, our numerator here, the degree is in third degree. And our denominator here is raised in the first degree. So our numerator or the degree in numerator is greater than the degree of our denominator so therefore this is an improper or our improper could also be when our numerator and denominator is equal in degree equal or greater than in degree okay so let's um, simplify it by long division we could have u plus 1 then divide then we place the div in division 6u cube then we can um, divide u 6u cube divided by u this gives us um, 6u squared, correct? So we have um, 6u squared. Then distribute 6u squared into u plus 1. You could have um, 6u cubed plus 6u squared. Over, then we can um, change the sign, the rule of um, division. The, the remaining would be negative um, 6u squared. We can um, still further divide it by... Um, negative um, 6u squared divided by u, we could have um, negative 6u. Correct? So therefore, we have minus 6u. Then distribute 6u into u plus 1, we could have um, negative 6u squared minus 6u. That is, we um, change the sign. Negative 6u squared plus 6u squared is 0. The remaining would be, then we have here, um, 6u divided by u, the remaining would be 6. So we have here plus 6. Distribute, then we have um, 6u plus 6. Okay, then we change the sign. So the remaining would be negative 6. So therefore, our remainder is negative 6. Okay, then we divide it by u plus 1. So therefore, we could say that this function could be separate into 6u squared minus 6u plus 6 minus 6 over 
u plus 1. Then don't forget um, du. Okay? So we can now integrate them individually. We could have the integration of 6u squared du minus the integration of 6u du plus the integration of 6du minus the integration of 6 over u plus 1 du. Now we know that this, uh, this is power rule. We could have up 6u cubed over 3 minus 6u squared over 2, correct? plus 6u minus 6, the natural logarithm of u plus 1. This is the rule of um, integration of du over u. Okay? Then, plus c. We can um, substitute back the value of u, and we know that our x here that is equivalent to u raised to the 6. So therefore, we know that our u here that is x raised to 1 over 6, correct? So therefore, let's substitute 6, then u, that is x raised to 1 over 6, raised to the 3. Then well, we divide 6 divided by 3, we could have 2, minus 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Now our value of u is x raised to the 1, 6, the raised to 2, plus 6, times x raised to the 1, 6, minus 6, the natural logarithm of x raised to the 1 6 plus 1 plus c. Now we know that um, x raised to the 1 over 6 man raised to the 3, we could have uh, multiply 1 6 times 3, that is 3 over 6, or so that is 1 half, correct? Minus 3x, 2 times 1 6, that is 1 third, plus 6 raised to x1 over 6 minus 6, the natural logarithm of x raised to the 1, 6 plus 1 plus c. So therefore, we could have 2 square root of x minus 3 cube root of x plus 6, 6 root of x minus 6, the natural logarithm of 6 root of x plus 1 plus c. So this is the integration of um, 1 plus square um, 1 over cube root of x plus square root of x dx. Now we have last example here that is the integration of square root of x over 1 plus x dx. So this is an irrational function since um, we have a, fun a term here that is in terms of a radical and then we have a fraction. So what are we going to do here is to rationalize this function by replacing the variable x here by um, u or replacing this entire function into a function of u. Okay? So therefore, we set here the value of u as a function of x. So our u here could be square root of x, okay? So therefore, we have um, x here that is u squared, correct? So therefore, we have the integration of square root of x that is u. However, our dx here, that is the derivative of our x, so therefore, it is 2u du that is equal to derivative of x. So we multiply it by 2u du, okay? That is the value of dx over... 1 plus the value of x here is u squared, correct? So therefore, u squared. So we have the integration of 2u squared du over 1 plus u squared. Again, this is an improper fraction since we have the degree in the numerator is equal to the degree in the denominator. We have... Um, the degree in the numerator is 2. The degree in the denominator that is 2. So therefore, it, we need to uh, break this into a multiple function okay, by using long division. Okay? But what if our the de degree in numerator is lesser than the degree in denominator? So that's the time you use partial fraction. Okay? But in case of, again, the degree in numerator is 
greater or equal to the degree in denominator then you apply long division so we divide it by long division we have u squared plus 1 okay or 2 u squared divided by 1 plus u squared we have this one here and that is we have first 2 u squared divided by u squared the remaining would be 2 then 2 distribute 2 in use in this term that is 2 u squared then 2 times 1 that is 2 plus 2 then again you change the sign change the sign so so that we could have um, 2 u squared minus 2 u squared 0 the remaining would be negative 2 so we have a remaining or remainder of um, negative 2 so therefore we have break into integration of 2 minus 2 over u squared plus 1 and this is du so we can integrate them separately we could have the integration of 2 du okay minus the integration of 2 over u squared plus 1 du um, the integration of 2, 2 du that is 2 u okay now how are we going to um, integrate this one we have the rule that is the integration of du over u squared plus a squared is basically equal to 1 over a arctangent of u over a plus c. Okay? So this um, in inverse trigonometric integration rule. Wherein in this case, our u here, that is equal to u, of course, diba? Then our a, okay, our a is equal to that is 1 correct so therefore we can apply this formula that is 1 over a that is still 1 then arc tangent of u plus c okay since our a here is equal to 1 so the remaining would be u so so therefore we could have here that is minus since we have two uh, two constant and the numerator, then we can take that out. That is 2 arc tangent of u plus c. Then you can um, substitute back the value of u, which is square root of x in our function. Then we could have here 2 um, square root of u, that's, uh, that um, u here, that is square root of x minus 2 arc tangent, our u here, that is square root of x plus c. So therefore, this is our final answer or the integration of square root of x over 1 plus x dx. So as a quick recap, as what you have observed in my examples, we convert an irrational fraction or irrational function into irrational by again introducing variable u, replacing all the variable x by a function of u. And that's it for the rationalizing substitution. So if you have questions, you may comment it down. Then for more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for listening.